today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my favorite way to wear my hair that's up and pretty and very different. It's the crown braid. So I know a lot of you who have shorter hair like me, my hair's about shoulder length. Sometimes it feels intimidating to do some sort of braid. And I know like a lot of um, the crown braids, they come from back and around and wrap. So if you don't have long hair, it feels kind of like an impossible task, but this is a great workaround. So we're actually gonna be French braiding from the top and around and wrapping around the back. And as I say in all of my tutorials, especially hair tutorials, perfect is not the goal here. Don't be intimidated by this because I promise you, you can do this too. And I'm gonna take you step by step today to show you how. Here's the deal. I washed my hair, not yesterday, the day before. So I have got weird slept on hair, <laughs> lots of dry shampoo. And again, the sh dry shampoo that is Probably my most used and most favorite is Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. So I've got tons of that in there. I like, and I will preach this to the end of time, textured hair for any kind of hairstyle that you're trying to do. Especially for me, I have very fine hair. So I'm just gonna take my brush and run it through my hair. I use a wet brush, nothing fancy. And I like to part, if I'm gonna be doing the crown braids, I like to part my hair a little bit more towards the center than down the side because you want even hair. Does that make sense? Like one side would be way thicker than the other and I just like it to be a little bit more even. Here we go. You don't need a lot for this tutorial. You just need a thing of bobby pins. I use Goody and I'll link them in the blog post. And then of course you'll need a couple of clear, tall, small elastic hair bands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate my hair into pigtails. This is cute. We're gonna look like Pippi Longstocking here for a little bit. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So what you're gonna wanna do is only pull from the front. So here we go. See, pull from the front. I'm gonna pull that down. And again, I'm gonna pull from the front. And I kind of pull from the front and pull backwards. So here's what I mean. So pull from the front. I'm gonna grab the, this back piece and then I'm gonna pull it up and backwards. It's gonna give me more leeway towards the end when I want to kind of wanna loosen everything up. So pull from the front. You're gonna to totally get the hang of this, I promise. You just kinda of keep doing this all the way around. And if you have these little bumps, don't worry about it. It'll look nice in the end, I promise. So don't like stress out about that. Really like the way it looks right here. I'm just gonna pull again, getting big chunks, pulling from the front, pulling backwards. And then when you get to this part, you're just gonna keep braiding until you can't braid anymore. And then you're gonna put your little um, tie. So I have no idea what that looks like. Hopefully it looks good. I'll check it here in a minute, but right now I'm just gonna let it sit. So this is kind of what this side looks like. It looks like it's pulling from the front. You see how it's doing that? But don't worry, because we're gonna pin it like this. So it'll stay, I promise. But like for right now, it looks kind of funky, but let it side. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the opposite side, but just remember to pull from the front and then backwards. So you're gonna pull from the front here, and then you're gonna pull up and backwards. See, up and backwards right here. That's gonna give you a tighter braid. That way you can loosen it up in the end and really make it that really super romantic, a little bit messy, like you just happen to look like a princess when you woke up. Again, I don't know what it looks like. Just keep on keeping on. And I promise with bobby pins and a little bit of hairspray, just some roughing up, it's gonna look really nice. We're almost there. Here's, I look kind of like a pilgrim, but that's okay. <laughs> look at this. It's a little bit of like a George Washington hairdo, but we're gonna get there. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of like roughing these braids up a little bit. I'm pulling them apart. I don't know if you can see like, just kind of like making them look a little bigger than they are. So what you're gonna wanna do next, we've got this situation going on, which looks crazy town. What we're gonna do next is we are going to um, take the middle and I'm gonna flip it where I want it. And I am going to pin it right here. So this is, just using a little bobby pin, pin it straight up and push that pin in and up. That way it's kind of hidden. So there we go, we're kind of tacked in place here. I'm gonna do the same right here. Then from here, I'm gonna take the tail end of this and I'm gonna wrap it like a crown and pin it underneath this side. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see it. So again, I have no idea what the back of my hair looks like. 
we'll look at the end and see what we have to do to fix it. So I'm taking the bobby pin and I'm gonna just do this. Take the tail end of that and tuck it kind of under the braid where I'm gonna pull this up. Okay, so that's kind of sort of in place. It's not very secure, but I'll make it secure later after we finish this side. So I'm gonna do the same over here. Take it right here in the middle, pin it up. It's starting to look good, right? A little less George Washington now. <laughs> pull this back up this way. Okay, here. I don't know if you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is right here, take this tail end, pull it and tuck it under this side. And then I'm just gonna pin it. Okay, now we are like semi-secure, semi-ready. I'm gonna start pulling these pieces apart, roughing them up a little bit, and then pinning them where I like them. So I don't love that this one's like sticking out. I'm just gonna pin that down. I'm also gonna check out the back of my hair here in a second, and I might need to smooth some things down. I have no idea what it looks like back there. So just really kind of roughing it up. Again, you could put this your hair up like this on day two not washing your hair and people are gonna think you are a genius. All I did was kind of smooth down the back a little bit. I'm actually gonna spray it. So let me go ahead and show you all the way around um, and you will see that it's not perfect, but it's perfectly pretty. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm totally here for you. Everything will be linked in today's blog post, including my top and my earrings and all of the tools I use. Please let me know if you give it a try. I'd love to see photos. Um, definitely tag me in your Instagram story so I can reshare them. But that's it, and I hope you enjoy it, and I will be back next week with another tutorial.